Yo, what's up everyone? Saints fan back again with another episode of Fashion Friday, a series where you guys get to show me and other people your awesome outfits that you created in GTA Online. Today we got some pretty awesome ones, but I want to mention the video I did earlier this morning. If you haven't checked it out, I showed how to get one of the garbage man or trash man outfits saved to your character because whether it was something new or something that happened with the last like little update that came out, you can now save the orange and white garbage man outfit to your character without it going away. So if you want a really cool looking outfit, if you want to make a really cool looking outfit and a unique outfit, then go watch that video. It's a really easy glitch. It's the same process as basically all the other glitches, except at the end of it, you had to tweak a little thing or two. But I'll leave a link to that in the description if you want to check it out. Hopping in this week though. Oh, well, if you have your own outfit you want to submit, just go on Twitter and tweet it with the hashtag SaintsFF. But hopping into this week, we are, are going to start out with Thesis Badger. He always has some really interesting and awesome looking outfits. So this first one is called RNGX. It's an outfit for you running gunners out there, as he says. And uh, I, by the way, I love the shirt, the A-hole t-shirt. <laughs> it's just pretty funny because not calling like all people who like, you know, run and gun a-holes, but you know, there's people out there that just kill you for no reason. Like you'll be minding your own business and then they come out of nowhere and kill you. And I feel like uh, this is a fitting shirt for those type of people. But it's a cool looking outfit. The white with the yellow and then the, the black from the parachute, the mask, and the scarf. It's really nice looking. You can see everything you need to make there. You do need white joggers. Although if you don't want to use white joggers, there are a few other options when it comes to white pants. So you don't need to really limit yourself to doing the glitch to get them. But I think that's a really awesome outfit. So that's the first one. The next one from Thesis Badger is called Soul Reaper. This one's a really funny one. Especially every time I see that mask or those like the Halloween masks, it just, I can't believe they actually added them to the game. But you can see what you need to make there. Fairly simple. The only glitch you're going to need here are the Warlord joggers, which are pretty basic. They're pretty simple to get. You don't actually need to go into another lobby or anything. I think you just need a yacht with a hot tub, but you can see nice red and sort of beige, even though it's, it's kind of hard to tell there uh, in the picture, but nice red and beige-ish looking outfit. And then the third one from him is called the Kraken. This one's a cool outfit using the like octopus looking face. Obviously, this one does require a few more glitches because you're going to need the uh, the purple helmet and the purple joggers. But if you want to go through the, the work, you know, you can see how it does look in the end. Pretty cool. And it also has the Rockstar Dev shirt. But, you know, he says any gray or white shirt will do if you don't actually have that shirt, which I don't believe many people do. Fourth outfit from Ken the King. This one is one of my favorites from this week. The Apocalypse Police. Now, I'm not really sure what the Apocalypse has to do with this, but you can see he has a police logo or crew emblem. And if you put that on the back of this, it just looks so cool. I love the color scheme here. That blue with like the urban-ish looking camo on the, on the sleeves. And then you got the helmet with the glasses and the ski mask. You can see the full picture here on the left. It's honestly a fairly simple outfit to make. There's not much that's required. But like I said, obviously the, the part that makes this outfit is the police emblem on the back, which I'm sure is probably not that hard to make since it just says police. It's not anything too crazy. Fifth outfit from John. This one is called Rough Rider. I like this one. I mean, one, because it matches the bike there and that looks really cool. But it is a pretty awesome looking right, like bike outfit. So you got the, you're, you you're going to need the yellow deadline helmet with all the other stuff there. A lot of black parts to this. You have the black scarf, vest, parachute, cuffs, leather, gloves, joggers, and then the uh, the black and the yellow shoes. But I will say the gray and yellow sports top does sort of put enough color that doesn't make this outfit, you know, fully black and sort of plain looking. So that's why I really like it. And like I said, it matches the bike, which looks so cool. Here we have one from Charles Field. This one, I don't know if it actually has a name, but it, it's kind of just like a, a simple looking racing style outfit like a street racer style outfit to make it you're going to need the charcoal faded low crotch jeans with, with the white v-neck shirt the cherry plain high tops any watch gear wrist chain and headgear he does have the crew emblem on the front of the shirt so if you want it to look like his then you have to get the crew emblem but like i said just a, a pretty nice and, and awesome looking and simple outfit just to run around in online one here from Jeremy is really cool. The 1980s greaser outfit. So if you like the 1980s and you want a sort of 
go back in time. Hey, look, we just got the classic vehicles. You got the Infernus and the Turismo Classic. So maybe you want an outfit that matches those classic vehicles. This one is almost perfect. It's really simple to make. You need like, what, five things there? And it definitely has the 80s vibe. Now, I have done a ghost outfit in the past, but there's always a ton of different versions of them. And this is one of them. This also uses the bodyguard outfit. So you're going to have to do the glitch to get the bodyguard vest. But once you get that, you can see everything else there. I mean, go. this is probably one of my favorite military outfits. I know, like, there's a bunch of different versions of this. But just the head part. Like, that just looks so awesome. I mean, it's probably because I'm a huge fan of the Call of Duty. Well, the early Call of Duty games uh, that Ghost was in. But it's just so freaking awesome to have that outfit in online. Here we have one from Jordy Plays. I know there's been a ton of like apocalypse style outfits, but it's always good. I I personally like them, so that's why I do include some of them in these episodes. But this one is his apocalypse survivor. You get the charcoal V-neck with the green work jacket, the for forest camo parachute bag, the charcoal wool gloves, black cargo pants, worn black slack boots, and then the black loose beanie. Kinda. I like his pictures here. You can see sort of like in the rundown part of of Los Santos to make it look like an apocalypse. Here we have one also from Jordy called the 1950s mobster. So if you want to go a little bit more old school, we have done a few of these in the past, but you know, just maybe if you haven't seen those episodes, here's a, a really awesome version of a mobster. It's a fairly simple outfit, but honestly their outfits back then were fairly simple and you can pair it with the Roosevelt to obviously make it look even better. Now, moving to the female outfits this week from Christian. This one is awesome. And it's awesome to me because I love the Flash. And I just, I can't, look, last week we had Spider-Man. Now we're having the Flash. God, dude, this is awesome. So this one is only for the female version, unfortunately, because I don't believe you can have this uh, for the male version, which is kind of, like, kind of defeats the purpose because Jay Garrick is a man, obviously. But whatever. All right, it still looks cool. You can see everything you need there. The chrome helmet, the red biker sport goggles, the red biker cuts, a, raw, a red long gloves, the blue leggings, and red boots. For it being in GTA, that is basically the Flash, or Jay Garrick's outfit. Not the, the new Flash, but the old Flash. So that's really creative, and that one is probably one of my favorite ones from this week. Here we have one from Peanut TK, the RNG bubblegum. Definitely a creative and out there style of, uh, of an outfit you got the crazy hat or mask on with the shoes i don't actually know how you get those shoes by themselves i wonder if there's a glitch for that but you can see everything else all the colors sort of go together the blacks the whites and the pinks so that's pretty cool but if you want a rng style outfit for your female character that's definitely one here we have one from toxic raven i guess called the zebra i don't <laughs> i'm not entirely sure what you would call this but there's a few options here. You got like the zebra top with the zebra looking pants. And then if you don't want that, you can just go with the black pants. And then if you don't want that, you can go with a different color. So those are some cool options there. And then here we have one from Rose called called Purple Combat. You are going to need the purple joggers and helmet, but pretty nice outfit. And then the last one from Future Gaming is called the Jungle Warrior. If you're looking to go fight some battles in the swampy area by Ford Zancudo where this picture is taken then you might want to, you know, look into that outfit. And I actually forgot to put this one in the mail section, but whatever. From Utters here, we have the nighttime SWAT team. So if you want to use the glitched night vision goggle. So if you want to use the glitched night vision goggles with a really cool outfit, then you can see here. It looks pretty cool. It does require the black bodyguard vest. So you are going to have to do two glitches, but... They're fairly easy to do, and you get a pretty nice looking outfit. So those are all the outfits this week. Like I said, if you have your own you want to submit for a future episode, just go on Twitter and tweet a picture of it with the hashtag SaintsFF. Really simple to do. As always, there'll be a few extra ones here at the end, so make sure you check them out as well. But thank you all for watching. Please drop a like if you did enjoy. Subscribe for more awesome GTA content. And as always, I'll see you guys in the next one.